Hello YouTube, it's me Jonah and welcome to today's do it yourself project. In today's video, I'll be replacing this shut off valve that goes outside of my water tap. A few weeks ago we had a deep freeze so I'm not sure what happened here. But this shut off valve is leaking so I'm going to replace it. And I'll be replacing it with this new shark bite shut off valve. And this type of design is called a ball valve. Which I think is much better than the original black gate valve. So you can pick up this shark bite shut off valve at any of your local hardware store. So let's take a look at this shark bite. So the big advantage is that you can use different types of pipes like PEX. CPVC, PERT and copper pipe to connect this to and it's also lead free. So if you're new to my channel and you find my video interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. So just on a side note, not all plumbers like this product and it is a legal and standard approved product. But I would have to agree that I would not install this behind a wall where I could not see it. But that's just my opinion. So looking inside you notice that white plastic that's called the pipe stiffener and around that you notice the teeth and those are stainless steel teeth that grab and bite the connecting pipe. And that tan color plastic is the release collar and when depressed with a special tool you can remove the shark bite from the pipes if you have to remove it for some reason or another. Alright the first thing I do is shut off my main water source. Then I'll mark off where I'm going to cut the pipe. Then I get my bucket ready because there's going to be some excess water coming out. I've got three choices of cutter I'm going to use but I'm going to end up using my blue half inch pipe cutter. I'll use my blue half inch pipe cutter. And notice the arrow right here. Just spin on the direction of the arrow until it's cut off. Then I proceed to cut off the left side. Same thing, rotate on the direction of the arrow. And have your bucket ready to catch that excess water. Then I clean up the inside of my pipe. Then I clean off the outside of my pipe with a scouring pad or a steel wool for a smoother surface. Now install your shark bite by pushing it into the pipe until it bottoms out. Now you can close your ball valve so no more water will be dripping. The advantage of shark bite is you can rotate the valve up or down to your best position. Whichever is most convenient for you. Now on this side I'm going to mark out the depth. This way this will give me an idea how far the pipe will go inside the valve. Although I didn't do this on the other side this is always a good idea. Then you know for sure how far the pipe has bottomed out inside the shark bite. Now I insert the pipe into the shark bite. 
Now notice the marker is now flush to the edge. Therefore, the pipe has correctly bottomed out. Now once again, I'll rotate the valve to the correct position that I like. Now it's time to turn the main water source back on. Now I'll turn the valve on to check for leaks. And it looks like it's dry as a bone. Everything looks good. Now let's go outside and turn the water tap back on. The weather has warmed up, but looks like there's still some snow on the ground. Looks like our outdoor tap is working great. So if you liked my video and found it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you always get my latest video. Thanks for watching.